What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Salute to everyone tuning in. I want to talk about this Karen that decided to harass this black man who was just trying to do her job. Now, I don't know what set her off. This video uh, starts where she's chasing him around uh, seemingly her and her husband's car. Uh, why her husband, the beta male that he is, is sitting there not checking his wife and telling her to get in the car. She's chasing around a guy she doesn't know. All right. See, this is the entitlement that a lot of these Western women have. Even the women that are married are crazy. And I don't know how a lot of you guys do it. Maybe you're you're used to being in these situations. A lot of you guys are submitting to your women instead of your women submitting to you. And then you wonder why they're crazy. It's clear that this woman is probably frustrated and, you know, she feels, I don't know, a sense of worthlessness to the point to where she wants to try to shame and, and try to, to destroy this man's reputation that she doesn't even know. I told y'all these women are not afraid of men. You got this myth that women nowadays are afraid of men. No, they are not. These women have no problems putting their hands on men. They have no problems getting in the faces of men, especially black men. They don't. It's only when that man does something in retaliation. Now you're seeing people saying, well, you should. That's a female. No, this is a, a, a heifer who should keep her hands to herself. She should stop making false accusations to try to get people fired, which is what this woman tried to do. So we're going to get into this video. So make sure y'all like my video and hopefully you share it as well. Yo, it's. I got this on video, bro. You good, bro? I got this on video, bro. You good? Ma'am, 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 please get in the car, ma'am. Don't ever touch me again. Sir, sir. But get your, get your girl, bro. Get your girl, bro. Don't you ever talk to me like that. I'm about to pull the authorities. What are you doing? He wasn't trying to. Well, he ain't trying to. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Tell your wife to get in the car. She's chasing around a guy she doesn't know. She's lucky that guy uh, doesn't want to get in trouble and doesn't want to get fired. Because that's what she was trying to do. This is what happened. This is what entitlement does. This is a very entitled heifer here. And a lot of these Western women are just like this. They are very entitled. They think they can talk to people any kind of way. You know, she's the type of woman that would grope a guy. They just, no one holds them accountable. They really believe this narrative that these women are just being victimized and they're doing absolutely nothing wrong out here. Nothing. The guys here is telling her, listen, the cameras are going to show everything. You're lying. You're trying to get this guy fired. Right now, maybe she doesn't like black people. You know what's funny? I would not be shocked that she's a Democrat. I really would not because most of these liberal minded women act just like this. They have no respect for their husband. Uh, they have no respect for men. Any chance they get, they will try to confront a man because they are, you know, they are devious people. You should not try to fuck me. Man, the best thing to do is get in the car. Man, please get in the car. Don't ever try to fuck This woman looks like she's about. Fit, like she's about 60 years old talking about somebody's trying to touch her. Now, I don't know what trauma this woman has, but clearly she's trying to project it onto this guy, which is what's going on here. She's projecting whatever issue she has onto a guy that she doesn't know because she's trying to get him in trouble. Knowing full well that there are witnesses, there are cameras. Like, what are you doing? Get your ass in the car and leave. Why are you still here trying to confront this man? I told y'all these women are not afraid of men. You know how many videos we see of random white women getting in the faces of, of black men talking crazy to black men. These women are not afraid of men. That's a myth. To try to push some narrative. What do you call this? Uncontrollable, crazy. Mentally unstable. Don't ban me. Listen, the authorities are right there. You're welcome to the authorities. 
Man, you better get your wife. Don't you ever try to molest me again. He didn't try to do nothing to you. He didn't try to do nothing to you. This is why you get your wife, sir. That's your wife. Acting out. Get out of the car. Get your wife and go home. That woman should have never been able to put a hand on that guy. But see, he's used to her being crazy. You know? He's used to it. So you're just sitting there allowing her to be disrespectful. You know she's you know she needs to go. Put in the car and go, but he's used to it. See, a lot of you married men are used to your wives acting like this. This is not normal to be in a marriage with a woman that has no respect for you and is not listening to you. Because and you have no handle on her. This is what listen, this is what this is what we see now in gen z women and millennial women we see a lot of disrespect we see a lot of anger a lot of bitterness this woman is projecting her own issues onto a man she doesn't even know that's what's going on here there's no excuse for this none Because, bro, she, go, she can usually go back and say something. It's a black man, bro. It's a black man. Okay. Be honest, it's a black oh, yeah. man. And the video ended there. I don't know why the video ended there, but the video uh, ended there. He was trying to t give her a little bit of teaching, but she don't care, man. T this, is, this is what us as black men, this is what we got to deal with, man. This is not, listen, this is not fake. This is what black men, we have to deal with people from different walks of life that have smoke for us man <laughs> we can't even do our job without somebody having some smoke for us this six this woman like she's in her early 60s she's like a grandmother right out here trying to get into it with a grown man this is what we got to deal with right she's trying to uh trying to project whatever issue she has on a guy she doesn't even know and she's lucky that guy cares about his job. And he's not trying to get arrested. You know what I'm saying? And she's putting hands on him. That's assault. Her husband barely wants to do anything. You married men looking weak out here, man. How many times have we seen married men allow their wives to be disrespectful and dysfunctional, belligerent in public? Y'all don't do, y'all don't check these women. Why are you married to her? Like, are you that desperate to have somebody? It's crazy. And this is this is exactly why I tell y'all, a lot of these women are out of their minds. This woman is what looks like she's in her early 60s. She could be younger than that. Y'all know, you know, Caucasian women age poorly. And she's out here acting crazy. Out here acting crazy. Instead of getting in the car and leaving. She, I believe she just wanted some attention from this black man. She's probably frustrated. Her husband don't take care of her in the bedroom. She's just frustrated. Y'all remember in high school how, you know, if a, not high school, maybe I would say like maybe middle school or elementary school. You know how girls would like you. And the way that they would tell you that they like you is that they would fight you, right? They'll hit you. They'll fight you, right? Uh, that's when you're a kid, right? But when you're a grown adult, it just if you just want some attention from this guy just say it if you're looking for some bbc just say it all this trying to touch this guy and get into it with him for clearly no reason is crazy to me all right and this is what's going on with a lot of these white women you got a lot of these unsatisfied liberal white women who are out here being disrespectful and harassing black men that's what's going on out here the narrative that the big bad black man is just out here, you know, just harassing and bothering women. That is a myth. That's not I me mean, not saying it doesn't happen, but it's not as big a problem as 
the media wants you to believe because how many videos do we see of random white women whether it's younger white women or older white women who have no problem trying to confront put their hands on a black man all right so let me know what y'all think in the comment section below let me know your thoughts like this video and share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll see y'all next one